Hey there! Welcome to Sea Life Kid Spot. Are you ready to hear what God has for us today? We are learning the last two fruits of the Spirit. I can't wait. Let's go and visit the farm with our friends from Kids Spring. Rise and shine, everybody. Hey there. It is time to get up and at him here on the farm. I'm up. And I'm at him. Here on the farm, we love to tell jokes. You want to hear one? Always. Okay. Why are pigs awful basketball players? I don't know. Short legs? No. Because they hog the ball. Get it? <laughs> Pig. Hog. Okay, yeah. Ball okay, hog. That's good. That's good. That's good. I have one for you. Okay. Why were the apple and the orange all alone? Why? Because the banana split. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Ooh. You know what fruit always makes me think of? The fruit of the Spirit? Exactly. The fruit of the Spirit is all the good things God wants to grow in our hearts when we follow Jesus every day. That's right. And we have a song to help us remember them all. Let's do it! The fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you wanna be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You wanna be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, space, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. You wanna be a watermelon? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, and joy, peace, space, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, space, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Hmm, so good. Hey up. We're talking about two fruits of the Spirit today. Sweet. The first one is gentleness. That's being careful with my words and actions. The second one is self-control, which is thinking before I act. We can learn all about gentleness and self-control from a story in the Bible. While Jesus lived on earth, he traveled around telling people parables. Those are stories that help them understand God's love. One time, Jesus told a story about a man with two sons. The older son worked hard in the fields. But the younger son wasn't happy at home. He couldn't wait to leave. So one day, he asked his father to give him his share of the family's money. The father gave his son what he asked for, and he quickly took off to live in another country. Without really thinking about it, the son went and spent all of his money on wild living. And wouldn't you know, he ran out of money altogether. He didn't even have enough money to pay for food. In fact, he got so hungry that he went to work for a pig farmer. One day, while he was feeding the pigs, he realized that even the food they were eating looked good to him. And take it from us, there's nothing delicious about pig slop. Ugh, that is true. But that is when the son remembered that his father had many hired servants and they all had plenty to eat. So he decided to go back home, apologize to his father, and ask if he could work for him as a servant. When the son was still far away, his dad spotted him and ran out to meet him. Now you might think that the father would have a lot of mean things to say to his son who had run away and blown all the family money. But no, he was careful with his words and actions. In fact, he told his servants to bring a robe and a ring and sandals for his son. They even threw a big party to celebrate with the feast because the son had come home. While the older son was working in the fields, he heard music and dancing. And when he found out why his father had thrown the party, it made him angry. 
Instead of having self-control or speaking with gentle words, he spoke harshly to his father. He told his dad how unfair it was that his brother would get a fancy feast and party after he spent years doing the wrong thing. The father explained to his older son that his brother was lost and now he had been found. And that's a reason to celebrate, no matter what wrong things he had done before. Being careful with our words and actions is real important. And so is thinking before we act. Yep. We need God's help to grow gentleness and self-control. And those are both the, uh, say it with me, fruit, fruit of, of the Spirit. Wow, gentleness. Do you remember what that means? Yes, being careful with our words and actions. And self-control, which is thinking before acting. I need to remember this so often. Sometimes I feel like I can't wait. Have you ever been there? This week, let's try to apply all the fruit spirits we've learned. And what do you think about sharing them with your parents? Now, we are ready for the memory verse. Are you ready? Let's do it. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22-23. We are doing amazing, friends. Right? If you're already memorized the memory verse, don't forget to show this Hannah or Miss Natalie. See you next week for our last episode on the